So if I'm focusing on notes that are in the chord, it sounds at peace with itself. If I want to make more tension happen, I'd linger more on a note like the fourth. And I'm probably annoying you a little bit now, but I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> it's all about learning, isn't it? I'm annoying you for a great, a grander purpose. Play that, you feel like you've earned it. <laughs> so I think that's how any musical phrase works. It's got to be a you're steering constantly between tension and release. If you just give people release all the time, they start to take you for granted very, very quickly. A hippie rap, isn't it? <laughs> I guess you turn that off. So let's let's take us to the next level. You might add in the flat five. And this is lesson two in any basic learn to play blues rock guitar. They say, here's the minor pentatonic scale. And then they say, now we're going to do the blues scale. Um, and now you have the worst note in the world, almost. Um, let's just examine the charm, the unique charm of this new note, the flat five. So, make another loop. <laughs> trying to say is, if you just trust the scale, if you assume that you can play any note because the scale said it would be okay, you might find yourself committing an atrocity similar to the one that I just played for you. So it's all about, I guess, having a skeleton of good notes, having a, like a frame, framework for any lick you play, where you've got chord tones in good places, and then you kind of flesh it out with the weirder notes. If you're moving from the blues scale to the modes of the major scale, don't throw away the blues stuff. The blues stuff is good. So I used to teach people a long time ago, and I'd get blues guys who'd go... <laughs> well, yeah, I like you. You're musical. That makes sense. What can I teach you? And they'd say, show me modes. So okay. And I'd write out these scale patterns, and they'd come back the next week. <laughs> to be good, and now with more knowledge, you're worse. How does that happen? And that's what I mean about throwing away the stuff you already had. The smart thing is to say, well, I'll keep this bluesy core, and I will look at the notes from this mode which aren't already in the blues scale, because those are the special modal notes. So that means you can take, a, take your blues stuff, and maybe if you analyze the Dorian mode, there's two extra notes. That's all you need to learn that one and this one. And then you could say, all right, I'm going to go on a journey. I'm going to start out being Blind Lemon Guthrie, just playing pentatonic stuff. And then I'm going to move through kind of Santana territory, where I'm sort of focusing a little bit on these extra Dorian notes. And then I'm going to sound even more fusion by removing some of the pentatonic notes. So the balance between the interesting, colorful modal notes and the boring, predictable pentatonic notes it's like a spectrum, and you can decide where to be. So I might start very bluesy and then go off into weirdo world, and then move back again. This is going to be... there and that it's moved towards Dorian territory but there wasn't a, a switch at any point. I think that kind of thing illustrates a healthy way to look at scales. And scales are good but if you just learn the shape and trust it 
you'll miss out on all sorts of good stuff.